Hello everyone. Today we are going to make this Christmas tree ball. I hope you like it. For the materials, I will use this Sunbest yarn. The color is 205. It has four strands, two shuttles with thread, a plastic ball with a knot. CM in diameter, a 06 m crochet hook, scissors and a sewing needle to hide the ends. If you want the pattern, watch the video and somewhere in it a keyword will appear. Send this keyword to my Instagram or to my email. Both things are in the description, in the contacts section. First I will make a knot with the two ends. So now to start I will make the ring, but first I will make three knots to hide the end. Pause cut this end. I will continue. I will make two more knots after these three. I have five knots here. I will make a small picket and five more knots. I already have a 2 3 4 5 year I will make a large picket for decoration, more or less like this. And I will continue, I will make 5 more. Let's repeat this part here. This line, for some reason, tends to get tangled up a lot. So don't be annoyed if I keep unwinding it. So, I have five here. I'm going to make a small pico and five more. As you can see, there are all the knots here that will appear here in the upper right corner so you can follow step by step and I'm going to close the ring. Here we have the first ring. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to make a bow. A bow with nine knots. But first I'm going to make three knots to hide the end. Three knots. Can I cut it? I'm going to make the six remaining knots.
There are nine knots here. Now we're going to make a ring with 10 pico. 10 here at the top of this bow, with the line that we used to make the bow, that is, with this one here. Ten. I'm going to make a small pico and ten more. Ten pico. I can close this ring now we're going to make the ring, but it's going to be a ring that closes on itself. In other words, let's make it as if it were a bow, a ring and then another bow that will close here to form the ring, but I'll explain it in more detail here. I'll also leave here in the upper right corner the lesson in which I taught this method of making rings, that is, of making the ring on top of the other ring. So let's pretend we're going to make a bow, that is, I'm going to wrap this shuttle that we just made. The ring, I'm going to wrap it here on my finger, as if we were going to make a bow. And this line here below, I'm going to use it to make the ring and then close it. To do this, I'm going to place this line like this on my finger and I'm going to hold it with this finger. I'm going to place the line closer here in this ring. Make the loop here near the ring. And let's make our bow, that is, let's make the rings. I'm going to make five. Always holding it here so that we have a loop here. This loop will allow us to close this ring later. So, 3, 4, 5 now, after these 5, I'm going to make a large decorative picket, just like we did here. After the picket, I already have a knot here. I need three, two, three. I'm going to make the other picket like this one. Three more knots. We have our first half of this ring. I'm going to leave this part here and this shuttle. And now I'm going to get just this shuttle to make the ring as we always do. I hope you can understand how to do it with this line. I'm going to make three knots. Three. I'm going to make a big picket again. Three more knots after the picket. Another picket like this.
After this picket, we're going to make six knots. And we're going to repeat this part. We're going to make another picket of these three knots. Pico, three knots. You can already see the line getting really tangled. Three knots. Another picket. Three more knots. Okay, here we have the top ring. I can close it as usual. Now we're going to make the second half of this ring. I'm going to do it like we did here. So, I'm going to hold this part here, this ring. I'm going to wrap this line around my finger again and I'm going to put it on this finger to hold it. I'm going to get this shuttle again and we're going to continue. I'm going to make three. Let's do the opposite. Make three knots. Three knots, a large pico, three more knots, another pick, unroll more thread here and five more after the second pico. Oh, three, four, five and here we have it. Now to close this ring we will have to pass this shuttle through this loop. In other words, we hold the loop like this and I will pass the shuttle from the front to the back, like this. And I will tighten. We will hold this loop here. These rings are a little difficult to close, but it is more because of this thread than because the ring is difficult. Ready. Here we have our middle ring with another ring on top. Now let's repeat. Let's make the ring like this. 10. I made 10 with this thread here above. So 10. Don't worry about this part. Then we can bring it in. This will unwind like this, but then we can tighten it. So, Dej. Ten. I will make a pico. And ten more. Ready, I have 10 picks here, can I close this new one? Like this. Now we tighten this one. I'm going to hold it here. And we're going to make a bow with 9, like we did here to get to this part. So I'm going to wrap this one around a finger. 
The second shuttle, let's make the bow. I'm going to make one here to start. Tightening it here well. Make the nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's adjust everything. And that's it. Now we're going to make a ring like this one, connecting here in this part. To do this, I'm going to turn and with this shuttle I'm going to make the ring. I'm going to make five. Five. I'm going to connect here and I'm going to repeat this part here. I'm going to make five more. Now a picket. Five more after the picket. Pico and five more. Can I close the ring? We have the first part done. Now I'm going to turn. I'm going to make another bow with nine knots. I'm going to do the trick I taught you so that we don't have a hole here. So, I'm going to make the second half of the knot, which won't count towards the counting of the knots up there. And now I'm going to make the nine. Now we're going to make the ring, which will also have the ring here at the top. And it will connect here to this one. So, as I taught you, this one comes here wrapped around the finger, as if we were going to make a bow. I'm going to place this one like this to make a loop and I'm going to bring it closer to this part here. And I'm going to do it like this with knots. So we can connect it here to this ring. I'm going to continue. I'm going to make three more knots after the connection.
three knots. I'm going to make these two big pickets. Three more knots. Then this picket, another picket. Three more knots. And now we're going to make this top ring that will be the same on all parts. This will be like this. So I'm just going to do it with the shuttle on top. I'm going to make three knots, a picket, three more knots. Another picket. Six knots just like here. Another picket. Three knots. Another picket and three knots. I can close the ring now to go back, to make this part here the same. So, as if we were going to make a bow. I'm going to place this one on the finger and with this one I'm going to continue. I'm going to make three knots. A picket, three knots, another picket, three more knots. A picket and five knots. Now let's repeat what we did on the other side. Let's introduce the shuttle here in this loop. Like this. this shuttle and let's try to close it. Here we have another ring. I'm going to make the arch with nine knots. Okay, here we have another arch. Now let's make the ring of this one the same. And you already know all the elements. Then just repeat all this, but I'm going to do a little more. A part of this one with three rings and then I'll come back only at the end when I'm here to join the last element here. Then another ring of these five to connect here.
We join five knots. A picket of this one plus five knots. A small pick and five more. Can I close it? I'll turn and make another arch of this one in the knots. But first I'm going to make the second half of the knot here to close this part here. So, a two let's repeat this part. I'm going to make a ring with 10. I'm going to join here and then another 10 with this one on top. We join here and I'm going to make another 10. I already have 10 here. We join in another 10. I'm going to close it. We have this ring. Now let's make the top one, which will have another ring here. So, as always, as if we were going to make a bow. This one will stay here with the loop and we start. Do it like this with knots. If by chance this ring here closes, just pull this line that comes here from the shuttle. So, three, four, five, now let's make the two pickets. Three knots after the picket. Another pick three knots. Now let's go to the top ring. Which will be which two of these?
three knots, one picket plus three knots. Another picket that knots. Two more pickets of those, with the interval of three knots. The second three new ones I can close the ring. And let's make the second half of this ring. Again I'm going to wrap it around my finger. I'm going to put this loop here on my finger. And let's continue. I'm going to make three knots. Let's do everything the same as on this side. Two, three, one, picog. Big plus three knots. Another picket and five knots. Can I close it? Passing the shuttle through this loop, as always here from top to bottom and we close it. I'm going to make this ring here. 10, I made 10. With the shuttle up here. One more picket. I close it. Now I need to make a bow with 9 knots. Then I wrap this one around my finger. So here I have the third element. Now I need to continue, I need to turn and make another ring just like this one that will connect here on this side. In total, we are going to make 12 of these rings here in the middle. Now when you make this ring and make another bow, you are going to have to make a ring just like this one with the ring up here. I hope you were able to understand how to make these rings with rings on top.
I will come back when I have the 12th ring. I already have 11 rings. I am going to make the 12th one that will connect this one and this one up here. So, as always, 5 knots that I can connect to this 1 plus 5 knots. One pick of this decoration and five more knots. Now we can join this one first. I am going to put it like this. There is no trick. Just connect it. And I make five more knots. Can I close it? Now we turn and I'm going to make a bow. Then I'm going to make the ring of this one, the ring with the other ring on top that will connect to this one and then this one. So make a bow with nine knots. Second half of the knot first and then the nine. Now it's the ring, as I taught you, as if we were going to make a bow. Here. I'm going to hold it like this to make a loop here and I'm going to start. I'm going to do it like this with knots. I can join this one here. I'm going to make three more knots. Two pickets that are here. Three more knots. The second picket, three knots. And now it's the little ring. Three knots, the two pickets. I'll make the first one. 
I make three knots. The second picket, six knots. And now the two pickets that are on the other side with the interval of three knots. Second picket and three more knots. I can close the ring and I'm going to continue this one here. So, three knots. First picket plus three knots. The second picket, three knots. And now it's part of connecting here to this picket, on the other side. For this, I hope you can understand, but anyway, I'm going to put here in the upper right corner the lesson in which I teach how to make this connection and so, to connect it to this one, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this part here. Fold it, and then we're going to fold this ring again and we're going to place it here at the foot. I'm not going to unfold it. I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to do the five that are missing. Five. Now we unfold it and this part that we made goes inside. And don't forget this ring to close it, we have to pass it through this loop here, the nadetta, as always. So, I pass it through. And now we can close it. Pulling. The last arch is missing which will have nine knots like the other one. So, I'm going to fold it here to make it easier. I'm going to make the arch here with nine knots. We can cut these lines leaving about 10 centimeters like this. And here we have our element. The only thing left is to hide the ends and so, I have this end on the needle. I'm going to insert it here in this ring here in the middle. like this. Now I'm going to make a knot with both ends and one more. I'm going to hide the first end here in this arch and the other end here in the ring.
So, I have one of the parts here, one of the halves. And now I need to make the second half, which is the same as this one. As I said, for this part we're going to need two halves like this. And we're going to place them around this ball like this. So we're also going to need a piece of string about 60 centimeters long. And I'm going to make a knot here just to make it easier because later it's going to unravel the string. So, I'm going to insert it into this one first. Now we're going to do it mirrored, that is, on the side that has a ring on top, one ring on the bottom. Then we're going to insert it into the part that has three rings on the bottom and one on top. In other words, now I'm going to insert it into this one. Then I'm going to insert it into this one here, into the next one, on the bottom. Then I'm going to insert it into the next one on the top. Make a zigzag like this. Then again here on the bottom one. One down on the top one, again on the bottom one. Again on the top one and like this, just one down on the top one, now one down on the top one. Down top bottom top and cut it out now we can put the ball in here. Put it like this. Then we'll adjust everything. For now, let's continue. We were at the top. Let's go to the bottom. Again the top. Again here below, above, below. And we've reached this point. Now I'm going to hold the two ends and I'm going to adjust everything. As you can see here it's tighter, so we're going to adjust until everything is more or less the same size.
ready. Hold it here again tight to see. I think everything is more or less the same. I'm going to make a knot with both ends. Tighten it well. I'm going to make the second knot. Tighten it very well. Let's adjust again to cut these two ends. And here we have our ball for the Christmas tree. I hope you liked it. If you liked this tutorial, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next ones. And see you soon.